These are the 30 best mixed reality games that you need to try on the MetaQuest 3. So let's dive right into it. Starting off with number 1, Being Broken Edge. This is a 1v1 fantasy dueling game where you will embody one of the many historical sword fighters. And it's up to you to use their unique powers and skills combined with your sword fighting techniques to claim victory against your opponents. And the best part is that in mixed reality, you can now have these competitions inside your own living room. So all that's left is to pick up those swords and climb those ranks to the very top. And number two is none other than Demio. This has been a long-time favorite VR game of many users, where you are participating in a Dungeon and Dragons type board game without you actually having to set up a physical play space. Because thanks to its brand new augmented reality game mode, these boards can be snapped onto any table to become part of the room itself, which will make it even more immersive when you are playing it with your friends. And of course, you can still switch between the virtual reality mode as much as you please. And on number three, we have Aspire 2. While originally this is a fully fledged first person shooter, they now included what they call their stealth operatives, which unlocks the possibility to bring the action from inside the game into your real world environment, turning your own room into a stealth action game where you will have to sneak up onto your opponents if you want to survive. Of course, this is only a small portion of what the original game has to offer. So while it is a great addition to the entire title, you will probably want to try out the massive campaign mode first. And on number four, we have Piano Vision. This app quickly became one of the most popular and interesting examples of how a good mixed reality game should look like. Because with it, you can learn to play the piano by syncing it up and aligning it with a physical keyboard. But even if you don't own a piano at home, you can still learn to play it by tapping your fingers against a flat surface. And although there are still some limitations, it can definitely teach you some good techniques that you would normally only get with an experienced teacher. And luckily, it comes with thousands of songs built in and also accepts your own files if you want to create custom songs inside of it, which makes it one of the best mixed reality games with an educational twist to it. On number five, we have Synth Riders, which is often referred to as the punching version of Beat Saber. However, Synth Riders has included a mixed reality update, which lets you play the entire game inside this new mode, with you now having to punch out portions of your wall to extend its cyberpunk futuristic environment into the pass-through view of your surroundings. Not only does it look very good, it is also a great way to prevent hitting anything that is closely around you. Because honestly, this just happens too often when you're swinging your arms around in virtual reality. And on number 6, we have Pickleball 1, which is a perfect fit when it comes to bringing a sports inside VR. Because you won't be just hitting a ball, but you will also be having a great workout while improving your skills of this neighborhood game. From practicing with their training tools, to ramping up the difficulty as you get better. But thanks to it using the Quest 3 headset's cameras, it now really feels like you're playing on a real court yourself. And it even lets you invite your friends to have a quick single match, or double up with them and play against some other people online. So if you love yourself some pickleball, then make sure to check this one out. Number 7. Knockout League This is basically Mike Ty's punch out inside virtual reality, where you will face off enemies that have certain type of attacks that you will need to study to learn their patterns, with each their own unique way to block or dodge their incoming punches. And if you do so successfully, it lets them open for you to counterattack and score a beautiful knockout. And when you are now fighting against your virtual opponents in your physical environment, you might even improve those boxing skills while you're at it. And number 8 is Eleven Table Tennis, which is probably the most realistic simulator out there that makes it feel like you're really playing the game itself. And while this title has been out for a very long time, it has got some big updates that doesn't only make it one of the best mixed reality games, but also one of the must-play VR titles that you just have to play on your Quest 3. Although, do keep in mind that it can get quite competitive. And number 9 is Spatial Ops, where the studio behind it in Resolution Games have doubled down on their mixed reality experience. Because Spatial Ops is the first competitive multiplayer shooter that turns any real world space into an urban battlefield. And since it supports up to 8 players, it will let you queue up with your buddies inside the same room to have an epic brawl either with your friends or against them. From capturing the flag to a free for all mode, this surely will take your competitive shooting skills to the next level. Number 10. 
Blast On. This is another 1v1 dueling game, but where instead of swords, you will be shooting projectiles and dodging bullets like you are in the Matrix yourself. And best of all, that although it was paid to play before, you can now get it completely for free, which leaves you absolutely with no other reason than to just try it out. And the gameplay itself will rely entirely on your body control and reaction time and can therefore be quite physically demanding. Number 11, Lego Brick Tales. This relaxing game will have you travel to five themed biomes while solving various challenges and puzzles, making this tiny world finally truly come to life right in front of your eyes. And number 12 is Samba the Amigo. Pick up your maracas and groove out in one of the few licensed games of Meta. With a bunch of included songs directly from the start, as well as a lot of upcoming DLC, this game can definitely turn your room into a huge party. But although there are many different types of VR rhythm games out there, this one stands out because of its catchy songs that will just get stuck in your head over and over again. Number 13. Zombies Noir Get ready to protect your real-life home against a zombie apocalypse in this intense mixed reality action game making this a wave shooter with your goal to stay alive as long as possible and with a bunch of different weapons as well as a progression system that gives you ability badges and skins it hooks you in to keep coming back for more and trying to rank up that high score number 14 cubism this is an older vr puzzle game that now got a huge upgrade thanks to the improved quality of the pass-through on the Quest 3 headset. But unlike many of the previous games, this one utilizes hand tracking to let you solve puzzles in a three-dimensional way, with the option to also turn on support for furniture and other items that are mapped into your space, which will allow the puzzle pieces to react to your environment and let you place game elements against flat surfaces, making it a highly immersive way to play and well worth trying out if you like some brain teeth. Number 15. Drop Dead The Cabin Home Invasion This is another great wave shooting zombie game, which is arguably a lot more interesting and fun than the base game itself. Because besides turning your room into a battleground, it also makes you feel like you're placed in the dark forest from the cabin, since you can look throughout your window when zombies are approaching you to attack. Just make sure that you don't punch any holes into the wall when you are actively immersed into the game. And also, if you made it so far into the video, giving a punch on that like button would be highly appreciated. And on number 16, we have Figman XR. The story behind it is that after Google ended their development on what they called Tiltbrush, they made the project open source, letting many developers implement its features into brand new tools and expand its functionality. And Figment XR is one of those results. So powered by Tiltbrush, it lets you paint in a 3D space while using mixed reality as its foundation. But it also has plenty of added features, from creating and importing 3D models, as well as text editors, and much, much more. Number 17, Light Brigade. This stunning roguelike game combines first-person shooting mechanics with some magic added into it. And with its unique gameplay, the original VR title is definitely one worth trying out. And although its mixed reality mode was a nice addition to it, it is more recommended to play it for its original campaign. Number 18, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. This VR classic first appeared on the original PlayStation VR 1, creating a party game where you must defuse a ticking time bomb inside virtual reality while your teammates give you instruction without seeing the bomb itself. That means that teamwork is the key to defuse them before they explode in front of your face, creating a very stressful experience that is extremely fun with the right friend group. Number 19. Thrill of the Fight If you love boxing games, then you will feel right at home with Thrill of the Fight. And now being capable of placing opponents right in front of your eyes, it makes it even more convenient to use your surroundings to your advantage. From dodging incoming punches, to circling around and countering at the right moment. Making it a classic game for people that are looking to improve their boxing skills. Number 20. Smash Drums Mixed reality and music just seem like a match made in heaven. And the same goes when it comes to drums because here you can experience your own epic journey with a bunch of new songs being added in the future. Once again, do make sure you have your controllers attached so that you don't have them flying across your room. 
But before we get to the last 10 must-play mixed reality games, a quick word from the company that made this video possible. If you feel like your screen in VR is too blurry, or if you sometimes wish that your graphics look just a bit sharper, then you might want to check out the lenses from the company named VR Wave, especially if you also wear glasses or contacts in real life because they make lenses for VR headsets like the Quest 3 that you can just click in and directly start using, taking your VR experience to the next level. Besides, they also make a bunch of accessories like head straps or carrying cases, as well as these lens inserts for almost any VR headset that you can think of. And you can use the code FRELITY for a 5% discount on your total purchase. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below. And with that said, let's get right back into it. And number 21 is Yuki, best described as an anime style sci-fi mix of a roguelike and a bullet hell shooter, giving you directly some very unique gameplay with its main focus on hitting that nostalgic feeling where you immerse yourself in a wild fantasy with your favorite action figure in hand. And while it might not be for everybody, if you love an anime style bullet shooter, then give this one a shot. Number 22, I expect you to die home sweet home. This is a spin-off from the highly popular trilogy of the I Expect You To Die series, where in this, you will be put in your own escape room. Not to mention that it is also completely free to play. But the gameplay is sadly very short. So once you have finished it, you will most likely not play it again. But it does give you a good preview of what you can expect of their other amazing VR titles. Number 23. Vermilion VR Painting Just as the title implies, this simple yet highly realistic app turns your house into your own oil painting studio. But of course, without the mess or equipment that you would need in real life. And with this concept that is quite simple, they somehow managed to create an insane amount of detail that really takes the realism to an absolute new high. And if you are not as creative to creating your own paintings, they also released a paint by number update so you can recreate one of the most beautiful and famous paintings throughout history. Number 24, Ghostbusters, Rise of the Ghost Lord. While originally being a campaign focused title that definitely doesn't come in cheap compared to its competitors, it sure has a lot of other options besides just its main story. From the amazing mixed reality minigames to the insane updates that they are pushing onto this title, it seems that Meta isn't giving up on this one just yet. So if you have it already, it might be worth jumping into it again to check out all of its new available options. Number 24, World. This game is completely different than anything on this list so far because it can let you place 3D maps of the entire world right in front of you. And with over hundreds of cities to choose from, you can explore them as if you were really there in real life. And while of course, it won't give you the same feeling as actually going on a vacation or holiday, this might be a great option for those with limitations to visit a certain place. Or if you're planning to go somewhere, you might want to already get a sneak peek to plan out your destinations and sightseeing. And number 26 is First Encounters. It is highly likely that you've already played this one before because this is a free app that directly comes installed onto your Quest 3 headset. But the reason why it is actually a great experience is because it gives you the first impressions of how you can use and interact with mixed reality. So while it won't be the most narrative focused game, it definitely doesn't hurt to try it out before you jump in into some more complex titles. Number 27. Puzzling places. This one might crack your brain because it will make you assemble some 3D puzzles of buildings, which are hyper realistic miniatures of places that are known from all over the world, creating a very relaxed game with some intuitive controls. Number 28 Rube Goldberg Workshop. If you are creative, then this is the ultimate mixed reality app for you because it will let you build absolutely anything from digital machines to racetracks or even a fully functioning vending machine, utilizing your furniture as its landscape, making it a great title for both the younger audience as well as the old ones that want to have a throwback to these amazing times. Number 29, Forever Pool. If you've always wanted a pool or billiard table inside your room but couldn't afford it or maybe wouldn't have the space for it, then this is finally your solution. And to make it even better, you can play on it in private as well as with friends in up to 2v2 multiplayer. 
And with its surprisingly stunning visuals, it is just as addictive as the real game, with the only downside is when you are trying to lean on a table that is not really there in reality. And last but not least, we have number 13, called BAM. This is best described as a multiplayer mixed reality game, where you control a miniature robot in a tabletop arena kind of similar to Super Smash Brothers, and with the unique aspect that you play it on a 3D field. But that's not all, because there are also some must-play VR games that you need for your Quest 3 headset. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out.